Hello everyone. In my first video, I will recap the plot of a film called Young Mother 2. Without further ado, let's just recap the plot of this film. The film starts with a man who has just graduated from college and is looking for a job. This man's name is Young Ki, and after returning from looking for work he meets an antique dealer. And the seller then offers an antique box that is said to have a mysterious power called Pandora box but he has to open it at 12 p.m. and it can't be less than that. Yoon Ki actually doesn't really believe in that. Then Yong Ki goes home and sleeps while waiting for 12 o'clock at night. But then he wakes up and it's still half past 12. And because Yoon Ki was impatient and curious about the contents of Pandora's box, he finally opened the box immediately. And it turned out that the contents of the box was a condom. And job vacancies from a company called NIP. I felt cheated by the seller. Yonki then got angry and finally decided to go to sleep. And the movie started. The next day, Yonki tried to apply to the Ned company that was in the box last night. And here he is then interviewed by a very sexy beautiful girl, in underwear who struggles to get out of place. This sexy woman is named Tim Jang. And the funny thing is, Yonki doesn't focus on the questions asked by Tim Jang's, but focuses on the sexy and voluptuous breasts that are right in front of his eyes. Tim Jang also realized that Yong Ki was staring at her breasts, immediately he saw Yong Ki's magic wand which turned out to have woken up from his sleep and hardened. Tim Jang who was very understanding finally stood up and approached Yong Ki, he offered his sexy body to Yong Ki to be stroked, and finally they had sex in Tim Jang's office with enthusiasm. But apparently, just now it was just Yong Ki's hallucination, and Yong Ki was also confused why he was only hallucinating but it felt like real. And here he still doesn't know, that it was one of the effects of him breaking the ban on opening the box too soon. After the interview, then Yong Ki has an online date appointment. So he still hasn't met the girl of his dreams, and this is a girl named Joyan. He then brought Yong Ki to his house. By the way, this Joyan also uses an online dating app, because today is her birthday, and her parents asked her to invite her boyfriend to her daughter's birthday party. So this Yonki, it's like being made a rental girlfriend. Jaoyan then told Yonggi, to take a shower to be more neat and clean. But right in the bathroom, it turns out, under the towel, Jaoyan's triangle cloth was left behind. Because of lust, Yonggi immediately took it, kissed his pants and used it to rub his cock with Jaoyan's pants. But, suddenly Joyan came in and saw her dirty behavior. Young Ki then came out and apologized for his actions. But, Joyan said that it wasn't her triangular pants, but her mother's. After Young Ki changed into neater clothes, then he waited for Joyan to change clothes too. But it looks like this Joyan didn't close her bedroom door with full. Which finally made Young Ki surprised to see Joyan's very sexy form. After that, looks young -gi now become very interested in Joyan. Because she's a calm type of girl who is full of mystery. They ended up dating, and Joyan said, what should young -gi do to pretend to be Joyan's boyfriend so his parents believe in him? Suddenly someone called Juyan, and said he had to leave immediately because he had important business. Then Juyan told young -gi to go home first. When almost arrived at Juyan's house, young -gi saw a sexy girl wearing tight and thin clothes. It turned out to be Juyan's mother, her name was Hyung, who had just gone shopping for Christmas needs. When he entered, Yonggi's house was helping to decorate the Christmas tree decorations, but suddenly his leg slipped and fell until he lost consciousness. Hyung who saw it, immediately helped him, then helped him by bringing water, but the water accidentally spilled into Yonggi's pants. And from here the jab story begins. Juyan's mother then tried to clean the water with one in Yonggi's banana, and Yonggi also saw two mountains of Juyan's mother who were very sexy. And finally, without a second thought, a fight broke out between the snake and the crocodile pit. But it turns out, the incident was just Yonggi's hallucination when he fainted. Although the scene was quite long, Yonggi immediately woke up from his stupor, and in front of him was Juyan, Juyan's mother and Juyan's father. That night they then celebrated Juyan's birthday, and when Juyan and his father left from behind, Yong Gi even approached Ju Ong's mother, because he was interested in the shape and beauty of Ju Yin's mother's body. The birthday party was over, and Ju Yin's parents had also gone home. Meanwhile Ju Yin brought Yong Gi home and thanked him for his help, 
already pretending to be his girlfriend, hi even though it's only a day. But Yonggi hopes that tomorrow they can meet again. Yonggi came home, while calling his friends and telling stories, that today he is very happy. Because he met a girl he thought was very attractive. He went straight home and went to sleep. This is where the story of this film happens oddly. Clock time shows half past 12 at night, just like when Yonggi opened Pandora's box yesterday. And suddenly Yonggi was teleported to the morning, just as he was about to apply for a job like yesterday. Yonggi is confused, why is he suddenly here, he tries to leave that place, but he will still be teleported to the same place at the same time. Finally, Yonggi was forced to enter the room. And uniquely, now he is again interviewed by a sexy woman named Tim Jang, and it seems that Tim Jang has never met Yonggi either. Because Yonggi's brain only contains sex, he feels very stupid with the strange situation he is currently in. According to Yonggi, maybe this is just a dream, Yonggi will intends to make love forcibly with a sexy woman named Tim Jang. But he always failed. And that's when he will be sent back or reset to the same time and place as in the beginning. And not only that, Yonggi also had to meet again with Juyin, meet Hei Young, celebrate his birthday, until he was sent home. The next day, he was back again from the starting point. Yonggi is confused about what all this means. What this is actually a curse from Pandora's box that has broken her taboo. Yonggi is now stuck in a time loop or just playing around in one place and time. Yonggi also thinks how he can be free from this curse. He thought there might be a certain mission that had to be completed within 24 hours. And the first thing that came to his mind was, maybe he should make love to all those girls. Armed with previous experience, Yonggi now memorizes all the movements and behaviors that will be performed by each character. So Yonggi did all his perverted plans to all the girls in this film. But when he came home the next day, Yonggi once again still stuck in the same place and time. So it's easy if for example this is a game, this Ned company is the starting point, and after returning from Juyin's house that is the end point. And to be free from this time loop, Yonggi must complete a mission, which he also doesn't know what the mission is. The next day, how many times did Yonggi repeat, when Juyin got a call from someone, Yonggi asked his friends for help, to follow where Juyin actually went. And it turns out the bitch went to see a guy, and they made a deal like drugs or poison. This friend then tried to call Yonggi, but because he was busy approaching Juyin's mother. He didn't know that there was a call from his friend. And when he got home, he got the information from his friend. But Yonggi doesn't know whether the information is useful information for him or not. Before going to sleep, Yonggi then tried to remember something. And he realized, that all this time Juyin is a character who seems to harbor sadness. Yonggi finally fell asleep. And again, he's back to square one. But this time he tries to do everything from start to finish in a positive way, not based on a background of sex and lust. Yonggi then tried to sneak into Juyin's room. And there he found the fact that this Juyin was an adopted son, his father had died and his mother remarried. So he had a stepfather and soon his mother died. So you can say Juyin is very depressed. Why? Please continue watching so you know the story. After coming home from Juyin's house. Then Yonggi did something he had never done before, namely he returned back to Joe Yun's house. It seems no one is home, and Yonggi straight to Juyin's room. And there he found the medicine that Joyin bought this afternoon. Suddenly a voice came from downstairs, and Yonggi then hid in the closet, and saw Juyin along with a grown man who was rude to her. It turns out that this is his stepfather who has a perverted brain, so all this time his stepfather forced Juyin to satisfy his father's lust. Eating Juyin can't say that to anyone, so Juyin is really depressed. And when Juyin was about to be raped by her stepfather, she heard a voice from inside the cupboard. His stepfather then opened the cupboard and saw a frightened Yonggi. Yonggi was immediately beaten by Joyin's stepfather, and was about to be stabbed with a knife. Suddenly from behind Juyin hit his stepfather's head until he fainted. Good chance for Juyin, who was getting ready to kill his stepfather, but Yonggi found out and immediately took him away from that place. Juyin who then remembered her parents finally wanted to follow Yonggi's invitation. So you could say, so far Yonggi has failed. Because at the end point, it's when Yonggi goes home. Actually, that Juyin earlier, was visited by her stepfather, 
She was raped and then she was going to kill herself with the drug she bought. So Yonggi's real mission is to save Juyun. Yo Yun was taken to Yonggi's place, and finally for the first time Yong managed to enjoy his beautiful body. The next day Yong Ki wakes up, but this time it looks like Ju Yun who is right beside him. It means Yong Ki has been released from the curse. That's the end, this film ends with a happy ending. Sorry if there are mistakes in my speech and words. Please support this channel by subscribing and sharing this video, so that I will be even more enthusiastic in making film summaries. See you.